In honor of my 25th birthday, I wanted to do 25 lessons I have learned in the past year. These are all just the most random, useful, unusual, spiritual, pretty much like any lesson I have learned that has helped me in this year. These are all the lessons I've learned and I wanted to do it vlog stuff, so let's just get right into it. There's so many things I've learned. I don't know if there's a big difference between last year and this year, but we are gonna roll with that. So I just changed from, uh, I went to a 45, which is great and lovely. And I'm wearing my like, wow, I can't talk my Zara pants, like my hoodie and then this random hoodie. And then this is from Amazon. And first thing that I learned, okay, well, first thing, let's just say the obvious. Having a routine is actually very nice. Who would have thought? And working out consistently is actually beautiful. So that is the first thing I've learned. Second thing I've learned is having a, I've already said having a routine, but truly I think what I've learned is that if you feel shitty, it's like entirely your I don't know how to explain this like we have to be accountable for that and this might be controversial this might be controversial but like there is like a certain recipe and like certain things you need to do to feel good about yourself and if you don't do them like you can't just expect or rely on anyone else to do those things like you just like need to do them the only way is through and there's no like around it like <sighs> this there's like certain things that make me feel like actually like really good on top of the world and that is working out consistently and like I think it's just like the fact that my body's able to like consistently get through a challenge is just like super empowering I don't know what it is called but anyways that second thing I'd say like that cold showers are like life-changing I haven't done those a lot but I know they're life-changing than a couple um sleep is honestly amazing um, like there's just that recipe, you know, like those things. Also, do not look at your phone the first thing in the morning. Like honestly, that I think that's just like, if you can literally exit this video, you don't even need to watch. We, our society, like I feel like we're so into our phones. It's just like, like you're like so sucked in. Anyways, like literally sleep, work out and take cold showers. I don't have anything else. All right, number three. I'm, I honestly love vlogging like this. Like, I love this type of style, and this is wonderful. Which actually brings me to my next point, which is number four, and that is who cares if you're cringy? Like, literally, who cares? And like, I don't know how to explain it. It just shows that you're doing something right and you're, you wanna grow and you wanna go outside of your comfort zone. And what's better than that? I don't know, like, um, it's just like you want to grow and you want to do things. Like, I feel like we're always encouraged to do things outside of your comfort zone. But so many people are stuck in their routine and just like doing the same thing over and over again. And just, who cares? Trial and error. Like, figure things out. Like, nothing needs to be perfect. Anyways, let's go on a walk, guys. Okay, we're in my backyard now. Another lesson I've learned is try new things. Try as many new things as you can. Like, seriously, there is no point in limiting yourself like this is as young as you'll be just do you and i don't even know guys i have no idea how to explain that but just like do you for you like there's at least all you'll lose is literally knowing that you don't like this like it just blows my mind i'm just like with some people that don't want to try new things and they're just I'm like the worst thing that could happen is that you could learn like i don't know it just blows my mind and then you get to learn about yourself and i feel like your 20s is all about self-awareness and learning and figuring yourself out so figuring the things you like and you don't and just like do that next one is number six is start before you're ready this is a huge one. Like this is super no script. This is just like what I'm thinking out loud, but start before you're ready. I never like I've always known this. This has always been my type of personality. I've always had like a calling to do like crazy things and just like throw myself into things, but I don't know how to explain. Like before you know how to do this, the best time to start something and is when you have that itch and you want to just do it. Just freaking do it. Just try. Just there's nothing worse than living with regret. Like there is nothing worse. And then I, I was listening to a podcast 
her and this girl, I forgot her name. Oh, Tess. Anyways, and she was saying like, I used the N 100 to one rule. If you're 100 and you're laying in bed, like literally wrinkly and old and just like dying, would you care? Like, what would you, what would you think? Like, oh, when I was 24, I didn't want to do this because I didn't know if people were going to like me. You're going to be like, I'm so glad I tried and I figured that I didn't like this. I'm so glad I tried and look where it stumbled me on. Like, the options are limitless. Okay, number eight is always try new things. If you even think you might like something, try it out. I've always had this thinking, but I never understood. And I still don't fully understand. That's the beauty. But what I've understood is, I don't even know how to explain it, but every time you try something new, that leads you to like a million other things. But the thing is, you won't know until you try that thing. Like, you you don't have that clarity. Like, you, all you know is that you have to trust the next, like, 100 meters. Like, you have to try this out, and then the doors unfold. But you can't just wait. You don't see the door from here. You literally have to go through it, and then the door opens. I don't even know how to explain this, and, like, I've always known this. But I've, um, I've always felt this, but I've never truly known this. So this is another thing. Thing. It's kind of crazy, honestly. Like, all the cool things that you've always wanted to do, first of all, you just learn about yourself, and then you're like, well, that leads to me to a completely different experience, and then you try something new, and then you, like, there's so many new doors, but you, if you don't take that leap of faith and that chance, you'll never know. Nine is, okay, number nine is what you've always thought in your head doesn't always, like, manifest in the same way. Like, I've always thought, like, when I grow up, I'll be like this, so I'll be like that. But even though sometimes you're there, you don't realize it because you feel the same way. Anyways, all I want to say for this is like, I don't know, I never thought like I'd get married. I mean, I always thought I'd get married, but like there's so, just like some transitional periods. Like, I don't know, like calling my boyfriend my fiance, like things like that. And like from my fiance to like a husband, like that is so kind of crazy. Like, but the expectations you have in your head don't always need to look a certain way. Like reality is reality and it takes time but just accept it 10 is the impact and just compound effect of exponential growth and by that what i mean is truly when even when things don't look like nothing it looks like nothing's happening truly and you've put in the effort you've put in the hours keep pushing and i don't really know why i say this it's just like more of an internal feeling but just keep pushing because again like i listened to this quote like from this podcast once and it like has impacted me so many times and it's like this guy tried to grow his business in 20 years and the first 10 years he wasn't even like at like half of his revenue and which which you think he would be because it's like 10 years within the 20 years right it's halfway through no i think he was like barely 10% and then I think in year 15 he was maybe at 20% and only on the 18th year like literally this guy's like running his business for 20 years 18 years in he realizes like then he's I think 50% he's made 15% of his revenue like five zero and then on the year 19 he makes like I think like 75 and then a hundred like it's like it's insane like and just like growth is not proportional it's exponential. You just got to keep putting the work and eventually you'll do good. But just keep showing up every day, no matter if you're motivated or not. That's probably one of the biggest lessons that I've learned. It's just like put in the work in silence. Put in the work when no one's watching. That's it. Okay, number 11 is wellness is everything. And I don't even know how to explain how like the amount of like serotonin, dopamine, like all of it, I feel. But like wellness is true truly everything like having your wellness practices like just first of all you feel in control you feel empowered um you literally are taking control of your day and just switching the narrative like you have the power to change your day like no one needs to like tell you you're having a bad day you're having a bad day so what go for a run you'll feel better like you, it doesn't need to be ruined nothing is ruined like you are your own best cheerleader and number 12 is gonna be you have the power to change your day a bad day is not a bad day a bad day is a one bad moment that's it literally that's it you take that moment and you literally 
have that bad moment and you move on like I don't understand like this is what stresses me out and like I don't understand like when people say they have a bad day no you probably have like a series of a couple bad moments and that that compounded that affected your mood and then you just decided you're having a bad day now no you're not having a bad day it's just a bad moment like let's say someone stole your card I don't care like someone stole your credit card and they stole your wallet fix it can you do something about it like if it's something within your control just fix it and then move on like that is literally it like stop labeling things like oh i'm having a bad day and then you like spread it around and then you tell everyone how much of a bad day you've had like like who cares like just fix it if you can't fix it then don't dwell on it there's no point like i don't know man that's that's just me okay i think we're at number 13 now but never ever any birds not that i've learned this the hard way but i don't know just like humans are so like multifaceted and we have so many different interests and you never ever ever know who you're gonna meet and just be a good person like, i don't know just be kind and like if there's ever a time where you can help always help and i th i learned this in the weirdest way ever like maybe not in the most ethical way like when i was in university i would truly like i didn't have time so i was like struck i had to be resourceful i had to figure out how to get my schoolwork done go to work work at, like 40 hours a week and go home and do it all over again and like have a life somehow and like do things anyway so i would always try to get people like do my part in my in the assignment but always give it out or like share it with my friend or like whoever I met in that class. That way they were more inclined to help me if I was in a bad moment. Like I would always try to do my work but there's always those extra assignments or like extra things where you actually don't know like how to do everything and you need help. So I would always try to get someone to always give the most value as you can. Like literally just give it away for free. Don't expect anything in return. Maybe this is controversial. Maybe this is too nice. I don't know. I just do this all the time and it always always worked in my favor so give as much as you can you never know what's gonna come back and when you're gonna need it the most and you're gonna be strapped for time and that's actually gonna save you so then after you can ask for a favor if you really need one uh, or people will just like be willing to put in that discretionary effort for you because you um, reached out first well, that actually brings me to my next point I think it's 14 now and that is literally make the first step like go engage go Go talk to that stranger. Go talk to that person at your gym. Go like tell them hi. Tell them your hair is nice. Whatever you see that's nice that you literally, I would think of something in my head, just go tell them, literally. Be like, hey, your hair looks amazing today or whatever it is, like just go compliment people. You never know who's having a bad day or who's having a good day. You have no clue and just it might just make their day. And I don't know, just like, do you, I don't know even how to explain it. Just like always initiate, like life is not like, don't ever wait, like literally don't wait. I don't know how to explain it. Like just do it. Just like, if you ever think of something, just go do it. There's no point in dwelling and thinking what I should a cut a lit literally i hate regret there's nothing i hate more than just like thinking going in my car after the gym and be like i should have talked to this person but i did it because i was too reserved like who cares literally who cares like just go say hi to them what's the worst thing you'd be like sorry i'm in a rush i gotta go like nothing bad can happen what like you don't click okay sure maybe you'll click and you make a super cool friend so you never know okay i think this is 15 number 15 but this one is going to be listen to okay don't listen to respond listen to understand or i don't know how it goes but anyways like you know what i mean like listen with intention like listen to understand what the other person is going through do not listen and then flex on someone by giving them a random stat that you know i used to do that all the time so listen with intention and like truly try to understand what the person is going through like do not just like whatever you know like um just listen to understand and like especially when everyone's mind like work so differently i have learned this the hard way and what i've learned is like envy like my fiance thinks so differently than me and we have gotten to this point where i'm like i always ask questions and he always blames me for asking dumb questions but i don't care i always ask those questions because my mind interprets things in the completely different way so always listen with intention to understand what the other person is going through do not just like listen like and just be like yeah but did you know like flip it back at you but did 
did you know I had it worked? No, like if someone's taking the time to share something meaningful um, and like something that's had an impact on them, truly just listen. It's not a competition. Like it's not who had it the worst. So just yeah, take your time. Okay, next one is have every time you have a cool idea, write it down. Romana, like write it down. Do not be like, do not postpone something you can do later. Literally, if you have a smart idea, if you have something you want to do, if you have something that you know is going to make you feel good, that's hard. If you have something that like just like a cool idea pops up, literally do not waste your time, write it down. It takes two seconds. You know what's the best part with audio? We have smart watches. We have everything. Literally tell Siri and write it down because that thought is is like we have like what 60, uh, like 60 hundred thoughts, 60,000 thoughts I think a day and like there's you literally can't keep track. So just write it down and then later action it because that's the most important. Like you have to write it down. These are, there's so many cool things that you think of but you can't keep up with your brain. Your brain's always thinking of all these cool things and you need to write things down so you know what's happening. So yeah, that's 16. Okay, this is number 17 but truly like I'm learning this right now. Truly stop apologizing. There is no point for you to like apologize and like feel bad and all these things. Like do your best and move on. And if someone misinterpreted something, for sure, clarify. But you don't need to apologize for everything you do. Like you know yourself and you know you did good and you know that you were your truest version. So there's no need for you to like always like try to be like um like play devil's advocate and try to apologizing. Like there's no um let's say someone this happens to me all the time, especially as a young woman in the corporate world. Let's say I do not know something. What I've learned is answer to the best of your ability and then get back to them. Do not apologize. Hey, I don't know this. No, like tell them this is my understanding. This is what I think it is. And then I'll get back to you on the rest. And like truly that has like helped me so much. Don't, you don't need to like, no, of course no one knows everything. There's always something someone hasn't learned. So this just happens to be one of your things. So literally learn it and get back to them. Like I learned this like one um, in Christine Quinn's like that girl from Selling Sunset, like in her book. Initially when she would like sell houses, she was like, she didn't know when the house was built. She didn't know like all the random facts about the house, but she would give them the best guess to all the, to all the potential buyers who give them the best guess and get back to them. And I truly think that's so smart. There's nothing wrong with doing that. Okay, next one is, okay, I think we're at number 19. Anyways, next one is invest in quality pieces. Quality over quantity. It's the cost per wear that matters. Literally, just buy things that make you happy. Like buy them. Like if there's something you really want, save and save and then use it. Like use buy things that you always want, as opposed to just like buying something like fast fashion that you kind of like but you don't truly like, you know. And then you don't wear it because it's not the thing that like wears you. You wear the thing, and it's like how you feel, like the confidence you exude when you wear that thing. Like, it truly doesn't change. Like, maybe, like, something that you bought for $5 versus $20, it's the same thing. But it's how you feel, and, like, that, like, gets exuded on the outside. And, like, people see that, and people notice that. Number 20 is going to be your part. Find someone that actually resonates with most of your values. Someone that, like, aligns with, like, your health beliefs, your wellness, your, like, religious beliefs, your... Any beliefs that you have, like, education, like, this guy those things ask the question don't be shy don't like so what if you put people on the spot you need to know like that is part of your due diligence because having a part a good partner that supports you is probably like the most important thing out of everything it all comes from a strong foundation so that is huge like like if you're having a bad day and you have a supportive partner that is amazing okay i'm just doing my lip liner i'm wearing the dior lip glow in the shade raspberry if you know you know it's literally my favorite there you go okay cool number 20 is spend time with yourself like literally spend time with yourself like meditate journal take time i know it's weird especially i'm really really extroverted so i love 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 connecting with people like and asking questions and learning but then i need to take time to like realize and process what I, what other people have told me and taking time to recharge and just processing and learning more about yourself is super key. So journal in the morning. It's gonna help you. I know it looks hard, but just do it. Okay, number 21 is learn new recipes and learn how to cook. Like embrace it and find the joy in it. Truly don't just like skip it and just buy, get takeout. Spend the time and learn how to cook. It'll make the biggest difference. And then you'll learn how to nourish your body and also save money. And what's better than that? Number 22 is 
going to be um do the best with what you got i know i think we strive a lot like especially like in the school system to like do the best and like like have the best results with like the best tools and literally it doesn't matter just do the best you can with what you have like don't overcomplicate things simplify things you don't need like a five step morning routine and like 18 step skincare routine like that is so complicated like just like have some structure and like if you don't have time you don't want to have time it's okay it's not the end of the world this is a very hard one for me to understand because i usually want to follow all the steps and make sure everything is right but it doesn't really matter do with what, what you can with what you have okay number 23 is go outside just go outside spend time outside i feel like we live in in this world where like everything needs to be super productive maybe that's just me but like just everything needs to be super productive and perfect but like just go outside it's grounding it's fresh air and it's great and just take shorter breaks because if you're just like always trying to go hard you can't really do it like you need fresh air your brain needs a break so go outside spend time doing outdoorsy things it doesn't need to be a hike like a seven hour long hike it could literally just be a walk it could be throwing a frisbee in a park like it doesn't matter it doesn't need to be a big deal number 24 is going to be that growth is not linear growth is kind of crazy you like take two steps back and then you think you're on top of the world and then you realize that you're actually like two steps like down and then you have to take like two side steps and then like three steps forward and then five steps back and you're like what is going on but just the process that's it like just the process and you do you did the best with what you knew at that time and that's all you can do do the best with what you know so that's it really do your best and then don't compare yourself to others like if someone if you're seeing that someone's taking a shortcut or they're not doing the right thing let it let it be literally do not intervene that's not your problem that's not your thing like not my monkey not my circus like you don't need to intervene like they will learn their lesson in their own way and don't feel like jealous about it don't feel like hey like i'm working double as hard to do this yet they're not it is their thing everyone everyone is on a different path and journey and let, let it be okay number 25 for the win okay the best one for last don't take don't take life too seriously <laughs> live your life girl like do your best and live your life don't take do work hard but don't take life seriously like we are all on a floating rock like find the humor and everything be funny find the great <laughs> moments in life and literally just do your best and live your best life that is it um i don't know like i feel like people sometimes like especially in the corporate world they take their life so seriously and i'm just like we are all on a floating rock y'all be. Don't forget to have fun and just like be funny even though other people don't think you're funny If you think you're funny, you're funny. <laughs> like who cares? Anyways, thank you so much for watching my video This was like the most random but like heartfelt video because I've been wanting to do this video for I hope you learned something and comment down below your favorite lesson like the, your favorite like top thing that you learned you're like hmm i've never thought of this from this perspective i feel like there's always something we know but like when we reframe it it just clicks in our heads you know and you're like huh never thought of it in that way anyways thank you so much for watching and i will see you guys in my next video bye